First guy we want to talk about, Travis Etienne, where he has league winning potential, Jason, and it's when do you want to draft him? It seems like James Robinson is back. Fantasy Pros has him at 22. ESPN has him at 21. We have him at 22. Very, very, very tight because I feel like it's hard to rank him any higher. It, you also can't go any lower because of the pass catching ability. Doug Peterson likes to spread the ball around both with carries and catches. He's really pretty much always had a running back by committee. Um, Travis Etienne's coming off of that Liz Frank injury. James Robinson had an Achilles injury towards the end of last year. Theoretically, it's going to be a two-headed backfield, but we both really like ETN and Trevor Lawrence checking the ball down to him in in droves this year. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, quite frankly, I think that there's a good chance that we have him too low. Uh, currently on the Sacco sheet in the first iteration, the second and final iteration will be out after the the last of the preseason games are played. We have him at 22 uh, at the running back position. Um, he is 21 uh, at running back in the ESPN rankings. So I guess maybe we're, we're a little chalky on ETN. No, yeah, we, we, yeah, but, we have him right in line with everybody else, but it's, it's a, uh, especially in PPR. I think it's like, too low. We would like to, we'd like to see him get, you know, 80 to 90 targets, 60 to 70 catches in, in a perfect world. And, and he's going to be sitting right at RB2, which is where we have him. If he has 10 rushing attempts and five targets week one, he's the top 15 back rest of the season. Potentially. Like, I think easily. He's the more talented back, hands down. He missed his opportunity to take over last season. He's with his college quarterback in Trevor Lawrence who they dominated at Clemson while together. Um, Travis Etienne is one of my favorite targets. I've picked him routinely in the fourth round. I think he's an absolute value there. Uh, I'm really excited to see what he can do while healthy this season. I think James Robinson is an afterthought by the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, it's entirely possible. I mean, just this past week against uh, the Steelers, he had 29 yards on eight rushing attempts. Uh, didn't have any targets in that game. But if again, if you're telling me he's going to get 10 to 15 carries and a couple targets, woo, I mean, hello, that that sounds fantastic. So I, I do think we end up bumping him a little bit from where we have him, only because if he is going to be the lead back from all occasions, it looks like he probably is as Robinson comes back a little slow from the injury. Uh, it's he has the potential to be a low end RB one. 